Today unboxing is our Mini GT October release. We have the pair of Nissan Skyline GT R R32 and also the Lamborghini Huracan Evo Grosso Mars. And now let's take a closer look at the 1993 Japan Touring Car Championship Nissan GT R R32. Standard regular box with the necessary information. Very clean and neat livery. The details are on point. It's clean. The liveries are sharp, realistic 5 spokes wheel set in white, which rolls extremely well. Elastic side mirror with different colors on both sides, which is accurate. Highlight is definitely the liveries on the casting. The logos are all very sharp with great alignment. Overall presentation of this R32 is great, and with the right diorama setting, it will look fantastic in diecast photography. Next is Skyline GT R R32 with VBS wheels. Clean and sleek, and I like casting in high gloss black. It makes it looks very premium. Highlight is definitely on the carbon fiber grille. I'm very impressed by the carbon fiber weave. It's definitely in proportion to 164 scale. The BBS LM wheels is extremely detailed and it rolls fast. Typical R32 rear with plastic insert rear lights. This casting ready meets all the criteria for a realistic 164 car at the mid price range. And this may be one of my most favorite casting for 2020. Next, the Lamborghini Huracan Evo Rosso Mars. Standard details including authentication sticker. It's a right hand drive casting. Clean and sleek, I like the styling of the casting, including the premium body color in high gloss finish. Impressive wheel sets that rolls extremely well. As always, very impressed with the headlight treatment with clear plastic inserts and details. Finishing for the rear can be better. I had trouble removing the clear glue. Overall, it's a great release for Mini GT. I'm extremely impressed by the R32 with BBS wheels, especially on the hood. Stay tuned for more Mini GT unboxing and remember to like, share and subscribe to this channel. Thanks everyone. Bye.